Uh, Laporte, the tech guy with Micah Sargent. The boy genius, 8888-ASK-LEO. That's the phone number if you want to talk high tech. We're here for you. Ed is on the line from the United Kingdom. Hello, Ed. Hi. Where? It's Ed again. I, I uh, phoned before about the um, invalid, part, uh, invalid email address. Yes. By the way, did you ever solve that? Well, yeah. I, I think that is the, the problem that um, when they're typing in the email address, until it's something... Until it's real. Something. Yeah. Until so... That, and I think that's what we came up with in the chat room in, in, in weeks later came up with was as you're typing, a lot of websites have some JavaScript on the site that validates the email. And it shouldn't, frankly, it shouldn't start saying it's an invalid address the minute you start typing because, of course, it is. The first letter is invalid. The second letter is invalid. So it's looking for a, an at sign and a dot sign and a TLD, a, a domain at the end. And it should wait until you kind of get at least close to the end before it starts popping that up or maybe ideally and i think most sites do this until you move to the next field and then it says well wait a minute you didn't finish this field but you obviously found some sites that are checking it from character one and of course they're invalid you haven't had time to finish let me finish all right moving on what's your next issue okay well this is actually one that i experienced today but um while i was looking for an answer i found that it had already been asked on episode 1362 i don't remember that one that was years ago <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I think it, it's, um, let's see if leo can remember the answer he gave on episode 1362 500 episodes ago it was um about not being able to open pds on chromebooks ah well, that actually is no longer a problem. He has a solution. Well, Go ahead. I, What's your solution? I had, I had it as a problem today. Oh. Um, the, it seems the issue could be if you've previously used Chrome on a different operating system, oh. those, um, you might have set a setting where you tell it not to open PDFs in Chrome and use a different program. Right. And that setting is then transferred over. It's synced. When you're using it in Chrome. Oh. Then it gives an error. It's, it's a similar thing. Um, Chrome is giving errors that don't actually describe the problem. It says that there's no um, application that can open this file in right. the Chromebook. Yeah, normally Google Chrome, which is the forced browser in the, on Chrome OS, can open PDFs and just says, yeah, I read it. In fact, yeah. nowadays, all browsers can. The days are yeah. gone, long gone when you had to download Adobe Reader to uh, read a PDF. Those Even on Windows, Edge will do it now. So but In this so in this um, situation where you've, you've told it before that you right. don't want Chrome to open it, you need to go to Settings, Site Settings, Additional Content Settings, <laughs> wow. Documents, and then make sure it's set to automatically open them in Chrome. That's and hysterical. It's set not to open them in Chrome, and therefore Chrome, the Chromebook didn't know how to open a, a PDF. But as soon as you, you set that, it would open them in Chrome again. As your, uh, as your countryman... William Shakespeare once said, you were hoist with your own petard. Yeah, it seems so. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not unusual that we do things that made sense years ago. I remember Steve Gibson yeah. uh, made a change to his server many, many years ago. And all of a sudden it cropped up a problem and he couldn't figure out why he was having a problem. He's the host of our security show. And it turned out it was something he did to himself many, many years ago. So. Uh, I'm glad you found that answer. Yeah. Was that the answer I gave in episode 1367? Uh, no, you said to, um, there's a, a extension, which also does work, called Kami, um, but to actually fix the, the problem. Longer. Yeah, you didn't need to do that. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it's just the setting. that I, I think because on Windows, I would want to use a different program to open. <clears throat> That's right. Um, you, yeah. can, you can use a third. In fact, if you look on Adobe's site, uh, uh, how to open a PDF on a Chromebook, they'll say, oh, it's easy. <laughs> Just download Adobe Reader. <laughs> and, of course, that's not what you want to do. Uh, no, it's yeah. just making sure in the in the settings, site settings, additional content settings, PDF documents. Ed, thank you. That's automatically open. Usually people call us with problems. You call us with an answer, a solution. How nice. I appreciate that. Uh, how is it? Where, where in the UK are you? Uh, down on the south coast between um, Portsmouth and Southampton. We sp I remember this now from talking to you last yeah. time. Things are going well. Is it is it a little chilly? Very, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, stay warm. The best time of year in England coming up. 
Time for figgy pudding, I think. Something <laughs> like that. Thank you, Ed. It's great to talk to you. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. It's nice. Thank you for calling with an answer instead of a question. That makes me happy, Ed. <laughs> yeah, I, it's kind of my day job as well. I set up and support uh, broadband and um, voice over internet accounts and mobile phone accounts. So oh, wow. Kind of do you, on what I, what I do as a job as well. Do you work for an ISP or a carrier or... Uh, well, as an ISP reseller, we uh, work with one of the um, long-term ISPs in the country nice. and sort of set up accounts through them. And um, so the customers call us, and then if we need to, we call the ISP. But a lot of things like we can support ourselves. It's it's wonderful to uh, hear from somebody, a professional, does what I do as an amateur, uh, who does it professionally. I appreciate yeah, it. Uh, good practice. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Ed. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.